Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Leigh Ramirez and today we will talk about reference managers and how you can use it for your research. Particularly in this video, we will talk about how to use Zotero. And on my next video, we will talk about how to use another reference manager, particularly Mendeley. So let's start. Today we'll have three goals in this video. The first one will be you'll know the features of Zotero. The second one will be you'll, you'll gain insights on how this reference manager works. And lastly, in this video, you'll have a collection of references wherein you can use it to produce a citation and references. So without further ado, let's start. So what is a reference manager? Basically, it's just a tool. A tool that allows the researcher or authors to organize their materials to produce citations and references or bibliographies. Okay, next, how does it work? So for example, this is your... Um, reference manager. It's Zotero or Mendeley. For this video, it's Zotero. So this is your tool. Your articles, books, monograms, conference papers, web pages will be stored inside the reference manager. You will store it inside the reference manager. And then that reference manager will produce your article citations, your reference list or bibliography, and you can collaborate with other researchers or other people that you want to collaborate with. Now, let's go to the features of a reference manager. So what are the features of a reference manager? You will create a library by collecting refer um, by you will create your own library at the palm of your hand in your laptop and your desktop. You will collect your materials and you can organize it. Next, by writing your paper through citations and bibliographies. And also, lastly, as I've said a while ago, you can collaborate with other researchers. Next, there are different types of reference managers out there. Maraming available reference managers out there. But why am I teaching you, am I going to teach you Zotero? Simply because it's for free, okay? Meron kasi mga open so source and commercial. The open source is the ones na for free. Now, let's have a tour in Zotero. So, this is Zotero's website. It is zotero.org. And, of course, kailangan mo munang gumawa ng um, account. So, you just have to click login. And, of course, I do have my... Um, account already and for you na wala pang mga account i-click tong register for a free account and that's it pag nag-create ka na dyan, you'll have to go back and that's it um you'll just have to click download for you to install the software to your laptop or your desktop yeah click na natin yung download and it is available for windows mac and linux users for me I am using Windows na determine niya kagad what type of platform I'm using. So, ayan na siya, Zotero 5.0 for Windows. So, you just have to click download and install it into your laptop and desktop. And after installing it, don't forget to install the Chrome connector. Ayan, ito yung icon. I'll open another tab so you can see the icon of Zotero. Ito yan yung red na Z. And I'll teach you how to use it later. So, tandaan niya nasa pangalawa siyang icon. Yeah. And if I'll go back here, yung letter Z nag-iba siya. Depende sa type ng website na pupuntahan mo, yung icon ng Zotero ay nag-iiba. Okay? So, now let's go to Zotero's app or software. So, this is how it looks like inside Zotero. So, syempre, pag wala pang laman, wala yan. <laughs> And ako, marami ng laman kasi um, ginagamit ko siya. Okay, so itong icon na to is for you na magdagdag ng um, folders. Kasi pag wala ang folder, halo-halo siya dito sa my library. Unlike kapag kanilagyan mo siya ng folder, mas organized. Okay, madali mong mahanap yung iyong mga topic. Per topic ako naglalagay ng folder. So, kiklik lang to. And if you want to have a new library, you'll just have to click this brown icon. 
So, ako maglalagay lang ako ng new collection. For example, ang pa-assignment ni teacher or yung topic na sa research is about COVID-19. Lagay lang natin, COVID-19. And then, click OK. This icon is a new item icon. Uh, manually ka maglalagay dito ng mga materials mo like book, book section, and others. Ayan. For example, let's click book. And you'll have to enter manually the information about the material dito sa right side. Okay. Next, hindi ko ito ginagamit masyado kasi I'm lazy. Just have to delete it. Click OK. And then now, the next icon is my favorite one. It's the ident um, add item icon. And it looks like a magic one because it works like magic. You'll just have to enter. Let me get my book. Let's, um, you can enter the ISBN uh, or the DM DOIs or PMIDs of the material you're using. So, for example, I have this book. Let's enter the ISBN 978-3319-04286-2. And then click Enter. Just have to wait for a few seconds. Ayun na agad. Nandun na yung information sa right side. You, you have your author, the title, ayan, and other information. Now, um, if you want to add a PDF file, you just have to go there sa file mo. Ito. You just have to go there sa file mo and click it and drop it. Drag and drop. Okay. So, yun na siya agad. And yun na siya agad. If you click it, lalabas na siya. Ayan, yung file mo. It, this is from DOST. Yan, Rankings ng Philippines. Competitiveness. Okay, let's close na natin siya. Now, what if ang material mo is from the web? So, just go to the web. Okay. It's open sa Google. Hanap tayong topic about COVID um, materials. About COVID-19. Okay, syempre doon na tayo sa legit sites. For example, this World Health Organization. And dito tayo, DOH. And if you want the updates, that's their website. Okay, WebMD. Dito tayo tumitingin ng mga pinapalala nating sakit natin. Sakit lang nang siya, naging cancer na. Okay, so, what if ito, galing sa World Health Organization, hanap tayong topic dito sa kanilang website. So, if you want to use this um, information dito sa website nila na confirm cases, confirm deaths, ayan, kanina ba yung letter Z na icon naging kulay gray siya pag nandito sa main search, um, search site. Pagka nandito na mismo sa website, ayan, nade-determine niya na nag ka and naging color blue na siya. You just have to click it and then choose the folder you want to um, save it. So, dito tayo sa COVID-19, of course, and then click Done. Okay. And, tignan natin sa loob ng Zotero. Balikan natin, check natin. Okay, ayan na siya. Yan dun yung title. Wala nga lang siyang author because the author is yung mismo World Health Organization. They are speaking um, not as an individual but as a group. Kaya wala siyang author. And the abstract and then the website. Okay na yan. And now, let's go back. Lagi nyo ito check sa loob ng Zotero yung mga information para kasi may mga kulang. Okay, next. Dito tayo sa DOH. What if you want to use this... Um, information here, yung graph dito, you'll have to click it also dun sa kaninang icon, COVID-19 na yung folder niya, and then click done. Then, balik tayo sa Zotero. Tingnan natin kung nandito na siya. Ito na siya. Kung ano yung naka-highlight yun yung kakasave mo lang na um, material. Okay, let's go back. And then, punta tayo dito sa WebMD. Ayan. Wala rin siyang Wala rin siyang author. So, let's click this. Done. 
What if it's an article? Tingnan natin ha. Tingnan natin ito na save muna. Ayan. COVID-19 overview. Ito na yung kanyang title and then the website. And then, hanap tayo ng article. COVID-19 articles. 2020. Ayan. Ito. Click natin to. Ayan. So, ito. Um, this is an article. And, kanina yung icon, di ba? Iba. So, na-determine niya na ito ay isang um, article. So, nag-iba siya ng format, ng icon. So, just have to click it again and then click done. Balikan natin sa Zotero. Let's check it. Ayan. So, nandito sa right side, nandun yung title and the authors. Kasi article talaga siya. And, nandun yung date publish. Okay, so, balik tayo. What if um, hahanap ka sa YouTube ng video? COVID-19. Coronavirus. Coronavirus. Okay. Um, hanap tayo. Gusto nyo mo ng news. Halimbawa, news. Um, hanap tayo ng kapitapitagang news website. Halimbawa, NBC News. 75. Ayan. So, kanina, di ba, yung letter Z nating icon. Tapos, um, kanina, nag-iba siya pag article, website. Ayan. So, ito, naging parang, ano siya, camera. Ayan. So, you just have to click it. Ayan. And click done. And then, tignan na natin. Make sure na kapag ginagamit nyo yung connector, naka-open tong um, Zotero application. Okay? So, ito na siya. Yung video kanina. Kompleto siya. Meron tayong title and the abstract. Wala lang siyang director. But the website is there. And other information. Okay. So, gagawa na tayo kunyari ng introduction mo or ng essay mo. So, halimbawa, hanap tayo dito sa ating Zotero. Halimbawa, na uh, dito ka kukuha sa WebMD ng de definition. WebMD talaga yung gusto kong definition. Halimbawa, dito sa WebMD, hanap tayo ng definition niya. What is COVID-19? Ayan, a disease caused by SARS-CoV-2. Copy lang. And then, let's go back. Paste. Tanibawa, yan yung gusto mo galing sa website na yan. Now, you'll have the Zotero. Automatic na to. Meron magkakaroon ka ng Zotero ribbon dito sa taas. Click mo yan. Kapag ka-install mo na yung um, Zotero application sa iyong laptop or desktop. And then, click Add or edit citation. Eh, pipili ka ng citation style mo. Pipiliin ko APA 7th edition and then click OK. So, click the drop down button. Click classic view. And then pipiliin mo kung saan yon File na yun. Ito yun, your source mo. And then click OK. So, ando na kagad siya. And then, what if gagamit ka ng ano, picture kanina sa World Health Organization? Balikan natin, ha? Ayan. Diba, binanggit mo, um, there, as of September 22, there are these confirmed cases. Copy. Um, there are all be cases as of September 22, 2020. Ayan. So, nimbawa yan, uh, ayusin mo na natin syempre. Diba, kalibre na lang. Bilisan lang to, example lang naman. Ayan. So, syempre ilalagay natin yung source natin kung saan siya galing. Just click um, the Sotero Again, um, ribbon and click add or edit citation. And then click classic view. And hanapin mo siya. Ito yun. And then click OK. So, ayan na kagad siya. The World Health Organization. No date. Yung ND. Okay. So, next I will go back. 
What if um gusto mo gamitin kanina yung DOH na picture? Sa-save mo yan. Ako hindi ko sa-save. Um, screenshot ko lang siya. Pagamitin mo siya, limbawa, lalagay mo doon. Okay, figure 1. Daily cases. By date. Onset of illness. Tapos, lalagay mo na yung kanyang citation. Click mo lang ulit, add or edit citation. Then, click classic view. And then, click mo kung saan dito yon. Click OK. So, yan na kagad siya. Nabata po sila sa essay mo. Gusto mo na lagyan siya ng references. Just click this icon, add or edit bibliography. And then, in just one click, nandiyan na agad yung iyong references. Just type, references. Ayan na agad siya. In just one click. Hindi ka na kailangan gumamit ng notebook at ng kung ano-ano pa. Kasi in just one click, nakastore na agad sa iyong laptop ang iyong library na meron kang mga sources. Okay? So, now, paano yung sinasabi ko kanina na mag, pwede yung mag-create ng group? We'll go back to the Zotero's website. Okay? And, ay, ayun na pala siya. And, click groups. Ayan, dito tayo sa, pagka, pwede ka na mag-search ng groups na gusto mo. And, pwede ka mag-create. Ito sa create. Create a new group. And then, Mag-log log in tayo. <laughs> and then, dito tayo sa create a new group. Choose a name for your group. Ang dami ko namang ano, group. Um, aspires. For example, it's Aspires. And namimili ka between three types of groups. Public and open membership. Anyone can see the group. Search for it. And anyone can join the group. Maganda to if you want to have a member coming from different parts of the country or the world. And then, public and closed membership. Nakikita ng ibang tao, but it's you who can approve their approval. The owner ang mag-approve ng, ng membership. And then, the last one is the private membership. No one can see the group, and you are the only one who can send invitation to the, the to, um, other people. Sa gusto mong i-member. Okay? So, pili tayo ng Itong pangatlo. And then, click create group. And then, mas marami pang settings dito. Bahala na kayo dyan. Mamili ng gusto nyo settings. And then, paano tayo mag-i-invite ng other members? Dito tayo sa members settings. So, dito, ma-update nyo rin yung role. Kung, ano, kung magdadagdag kayo ng owner. Kung magdadagdag kayo ng member lang or contributor lang. Okay. So, dito yun. So, just click send more invitations and then enter the email address of the person you want to be um, collaborate with. Just click invite members. So, now gusto mo makita kung nakapasok mo sa Zotero yung groups mo. Ayan. Click lang, may dati na akong group. Pero, ito, kung gusto mo makita, hindi wala pa siya, hindi nyo pa nakikita. I-refresh na lang this button, green button on the upper right side. And then, there it is, Aspires. So, ayan na. Nakagawa ka na ng group. So, that's the end of it. It's easy. You can collaborate with others. Pwede to sa mga magkakagrupo sa thesis. Or yung teachers, gusto mo makita yung mga gawa ng students mo. You can create um, a group here para ma tapos gawin mo yung leader na as one of the con um, owner and then contributors na yung iba, it's up to you. Okay, so I hope makatulong tong video ng ito para mas mapadali ang paggawa ng inyong research or ng inyong basta essay lang, okay lang to gamitin. Okay, so that's the end of the video and I hope nagustuhan niyo po. Please like it and subscribe to my channel and you can share it with your friends. That's it. See you on my next video. Bye!